everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 41 for you guys. I don't know why the hell just then I almost like, I don't know, I was about to spaz out. Like, what the hell was going on right there? It's like I, I knew the number I was supposed to say, but then I almost second-guessed it. And I was like, what am I saying? And then I said 41. It may not have came across weird, but in my mind I was like... What the hell is this body trying to say right now? But anyways, guys, we have a bunch of figures lined up right here for Action Figure Surgery episode number 41. I don't think we've done a surgery since Christmas Day. I could be leaving out one, so this could be episode 42. I'm just a stupid idiot jackass, and we'll just have to run it back. But I think it's 41 for the most part. But then again, I'm the one that was just second-guessing whatever the hell my body was saying or my mouth and my brain analyzing together to come up with something to say. So I'm just going to shut the hell up and move on with the rest of the surgery video and uh, try to get through this thing without passing the hell out. So in today's video, guys, you can see we do have a bunch of AJ Styles figures lined up. Uh, I, I'm ready to get some of these fix-ups going. We have a bunch of AJ Styles going on. We got some Hardy. We got some Rollins. We got some other Hardy in there. Should be a fun day of fixing up and surgery. I think that all the fix-ups should come out pretty epic. I'm pretty excited to see what they all look like. But you guys know how these videos start. We're going to run through exactly what we're going to be doing here today. And then after that we will move on with the surgery itself and at the end we will take a closer look at everything we've done here today on action figure surgery so with that being said guys let's go ahead and get into it shut the hell up and explain what we're going to be doing here today on wwe action figure surgery episode number 41 or 42 possibly all right guys so starting out first we're going to take the aj styles off the stretcher this is a network spotlight aj styles that i've had for quite a while now a lot of people would tell you this is the best aj styles figure i i don't know i mean i, I like it a lot I don't know if it's the best one, but it's definitely up there if you want to say so. But today we're going to do a little fixing up with it. I have an idea that I want to do with it, and I think it is... Is it this one? I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's this one. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to we're gonna pop off the blue kick pad and the blue arm right here with the blue glove, and we're going to switch it with this other Elite AJ Styles and give him another red kick pad and another red glove and just see what it looks like. You know, it may look terrible, it may look stupid, but I just kind of see. I know that it has blue in the attire, but I think giving him the red will kind of give it like a different look. I don't know. I'm just going to play around with it. If it ends up looking stupid or if it, you know, I want to switch it later on or in the future, that is something we could easily do so I'm not you know too worried about it so that is what we're going to do we're going to put the red kick pad and red glove over on this AJ Styles I do know this blue armband's there but it doesn't affect me that much because we do have blue still in the attire so I don't know we're, we're going to find out what that looks like kind of play around with it see how it goes and then uh, we're going to take a look at that not only that but we are also going to pop on this top talents AJ Styles head sculpt over on the network spotlight and get rid of this like early early WWE run AJ Styles head sculpt so so all three of these will go together, and that should make for a pretty cool and unique fix-up with the t-shirt on there and all that. So that's one of the fix-ups we're going to do. The next fix-up we're going to do is on the uh, Elite 47 AJ Styles, and where is it? Okay, it's this one right here. I think this is what we wanted to do. We're going to take my Elite 47 AJ Styles, or one of my Elite 47 AJ Styles, and we're going to switch out the kick pads and the knee pads with this one. So you guys will tell, the, the only difference in this is that this figure has black with white outline, and then this figure has white with black outline and uh, this is the Survivor Series Elite kick pads. We're going to put those over here and just kind of see what that looks like. I think that slight variation will look pretty cool. Just gives us a different look. I know I have a regular Elite 47 up on the shelf. I have an Elite 47 with the Elite 56 kick pads and so I think this will be a good little change of pace. Give it a little change of scenery with the knee pads and everything so that is another fix that we're going to do. Moving forward guys, we have one more AJ Styles figure we want to do and this one is going to be over here and it's going to be pretty much just like the other one but it's going to be slightly verified we're going to verify that doesn't make sense it's going to be slightly different is we're going to take another network spotlight AJ Styles and we're going to switch the kick pads and the arms with this Elite 56 AJ Styles so that way he has the white faces with the black and uh, blue so that the white will tie into the white on the pants. So we'll have that look right there with the knee pads on there and we're also going to be putting these two blue gloved arms on here. I know that I'd like to keep the black triangle on there but 
it wouldn't look right for one arm to have the triangle, one arm not to have the triangle. So we are going to switch the non-triangle blue gloves over to this AJ Styles. And then when that is done with the kick pads as well, we're going to take my extra elite two-pack AJ Styles and switch the head sculpt over here to give us two different looks of the network spotlight figure. And then one day I'll track down the network spotlight figure again and I'll keep it, you know, regular just with added knee pads and stuff like that. So that is it for all of our AJ Styles figures. We have like eight AJ Styles figures featured today. Maybe the that will lead to other fix-ups in the future and stuff like that. I have a ton of AJs I need to do, but uh, this is the process of that. I'm trying to get them all different and unique and then take the extra ones, fix them up as well, so that way I don't have a bunch of just Frankenstein and disfigured AJ Styles guys up on the shelf, so that's something else I need to do. And then the last three swaps are just head swaps, but I think they're going to be okay. We have the Matt Hardy ECW ringside exclusive figure, and we're going to switch the head sculpt with the WWE Shop exclusive. Now I know the WWE Shop exclusive Hardy 2-pack Elite Matt Hardy is very similar to this, but it's not the same. This is obviously a little bit different camo, so I think that'll be a good change of pace. It'll give it a cool look and a different look there, so we are going to switch this smiley head to this uh, pissed off Matt Hardy sculpt, so I think that'll be a pretty good swap. Another swap I'm going to do is a swap that I've been wanting to do for a while now, and I think it'll be a pretty epic swap. We're going to take the Shield Epic Moments 3-pack Seth Rollins that I did custom paint the knee pads on to be a lighter gray to match the figure. It's not completely accurate, but it is close enough. Kind of reminds me of when he returned at Extreme Rules that one year and attacked Roman Reigns uh, when he came back from injury. But I am going to switch out this head sculpt with the Elite 37 with the black painted hair. I think that'll be a really cool look, and it'll kind of look like when he returned, I'll just need a custom t-shirt, but that'll kind of look what he looked like when he returned at Extreme Rules and uh, beat up Roman Reigns or attacked Roman Reigns. So there is that. And the final swap will be this battle pack Jeff Hardy head sculpt with the green gauges onto my extra two, sh two, two pack WWE shop exclusive Hardy Jeff Hardy two pack thingamajig uh, long ass name. So that is all the swaps we're doing, guys. A lot of uh, lot of stuff going on. I know I had to explain it all, and we will get it all going, but that is all of the surgery we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. I guess we can start off with the head swaps, and then we will move on to the bigger and harder things to do. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, first order of business is probably going to be the head sculpts, don't you think? I mean, head sculpts are probably the best way to start the surgery videos. You know, real quick and simple, right to the point. So we'll put the Jeff Hardy Battle Pack Basic there. We'll get our other Jeff Hardy, maybe stack him on top of there put their faces together right there and uh, that should work out right there and then uh, I guess we can go with the Matt Hardy we'll try to get the Matt Hardy and the Jeff Hardy in one little scoop and we'll put that there. You gotta be careful with the Matt Hardy head sculpts because of the ponytail, but I think it should all work out. It should be okay. Um, the, the Seth Rollins, I don't know if we can get this Seth Rollins head sculpt heated up enough. You know what, but we'll, uh, we'll do our best there. We'll just heat that up there, and we'll go ahead and put the other Rollins head sculpts under here and just kind of put that in the way, maybe block off some of that heat for the Matt Hardy. And uh, I think this should work. This should be good enough. We're gonna try to get the hair dryer in the perfect freaking position so that it can heat up all of it get it right in the go zone right there and all right guys let's go ahead and hit it and then we're going to switch all these effing figures All right, guys, let's see if this is long enough. I think it was, like, right at the 60-second mark, so we'll kind of see. All right, there goes Matt Hardy. That actually popped off pretty good and pretty easy. Matt Hardy should go on and off. The only one I'm really worried about to not pop on and off will be the Seth Rollins. So we got the Matt Hardy done. Uh, I guess we can move on to Rollins and see if it's even going to happen. Yeah, dude, that freaking Rollins head sculpt. They always make the Rollins so freaking thick. God dang. All right, we're not going to be able to get Rollins. Rollins is going to have to go with the AJ Styles Porsche. I, I knew it wouldn't probably be long enough, but I was afraid of the, the Matt Hardy ponytails, you know. And Jeff Hardy's trying to give me a freaking time now. And I don't even know if the Jeff Hardy is going to work. So I'm just a big idiot jackass. And now I just snapped the Jeff Hardy head off. Oh my God in heaven. It's because this peg hole is so small. It's not that big of a deal. I can easily fix this. You know what? I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. Not a big deal. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to show you guys how to exactly fix this. I don't know if I'm going to show you guys how to fix the basic, but I can show you how to get this out. Very simple. I think I've showed it before, but we got Matt Hardy done. I mean, that's that's one thing, but now I guess we can heat this shit back up, and I'll, I'll go ahead and get ready to uh, get this uh, neck peg out of this freaking Jeff Hardy head sculpt that decided to snap. 
See, this is not. See, this is why you don't force it with the elites, is because uh, you don't want to snap your head and your neck peg. So you want to take it real slow, nice and steady, kind of relax a little bit, not to get, not to, you know, don't, don't don't get too crazy. And uh, you know what? Let's just let's get this set back to up. I mean, my God, that there, that there, that there, that there, and yeah. Might as well throw an AJ Styles head sculpt in there too. See if we can get this heated up. Alright guys, let's see if this will work now. Now I'm going to show you exactly how you get this out. All you got to do is heat it up, then grab it with pliers, and then just kind of grip it with the pliers, and then wiggle it back and forth. And then, oh yeah, got that right there. Now we go to the Jeff Hardy. Hopefully this head will pop off now. Now I got an extra Jeff Hardy to do face paints and stuff like that on. Uh, Alright, there we go. We got the other Jeff Hardy head sculpt on there. So we have Jeff and Matt Dunn. Jeff Hardy extra will go over here to go in my little bag of Hardy fodder. We also have this Rollins head sculpt that easily popped off, so that's good. And now we're popping on the Elite 37 head sculpt onto this Shield 3 pack. And that is on there, so now we are done with that. So now we've gotten our simple, basic head swaps done, and we'll take a closer look at those at the end. Now all we have to do is move on to our AJ Styles, pop this head off. I know we, oh my God, dude. This, this head sculpt is probably one of the worst head sculpts to swap. You guys just saw this sit in the heat. It's still not ready. It's still so freaking thick and stuff. You gotta be very careful with that head sculpt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up that head, and while we're heating up that head, we're also going to heat up the uh, other heads that we're switching, and we know that we're heating up this other AJ Styles head, and then I think we have another AJ Styles head, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, we have one more AJ Styles head that we're gonna switch out, and I totally freaking forgot that I had this torso on this AJ Styles figure. Completely freaking skipped my mind. It's not that big of a deal. I think it looks better than the one Mattel gives us, to be honest with you, but you know what? We're gonna put that right there, and then, dead gum, boy. Ah, you know what? If we're gonna heat up all three of those, we might as well get this head sculpt done as well. That way, all the head sculpts are done and we don't have to even look at a head swap no more. And we can just move on to those arms and gloves. I think that'd probably be the best thing to do. So we're gonna put that there, have all these in the stream of heat, and hopefully uh, everything works out, but we'll see. All right, guys, let's see if that's long enough. We're going to start off with the top talents figure, and my God in heaven, like, I don't know what to say. This head sculpt is terrible, bro. You can't ever pop it off. It's because they make the neck hole so freaking small. They make the peg hole, like, tiny, and then they, uh, like, good God, you have to heat that hole up forever. I mean, we got it off, but Jesus Christ. I know we got to get that arm off, and we got to get the right kick pad off eventually, but... Yeah, dude, Jesus Christ. We'll uh, we'll go ahead and pop this AJ Styles head sculpt onto it's Again, it's because they make the peg hole so small that it's like really stiff and hard to get off. I don't know, it's just terrible. It's freaking crazy, bro. Um, yeah, we wanna get that off and we wanna get, this, no, it's this kick pad, right? Yeah, it's this kick pad and then this head sculpt I know is coming off. So there we go, we have two Elite 47 styles over there. That's done. You can go ahead and put that over there. Okay, uh, we don't need these gloved arms anymore, I don't think. So we need the one red glove here. This head sculpt didn't get heated up enough. Okay, so we got our little stationary bodies now because we're doing the one blue one and the one, uh, we're doing the one blue one and the one red one and they have different torsos, which sucks eggs, but you know what? Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up this head sculpt again, but while we're heating up that head sculpt again, we can heat up the kick pads of the Elite 56 
and this figure as well. So we gotta get both of these done. And then we have this AJ's kick pad that we gotta get. So it's just a lot of bull crap switching in and out. I'm gonna have so much AJ Styles just laying around freaking Frankenstein. This is why I'm trying to get all these AJ Styles figured out so they can look all uniform up on the shelf. But there's that. And then we have the other kick pad that we also have to heat up. And then we have other kick pads that we gotta heat up. It's just, just Jesus Christ. All right, that should be good right there. And I'm just gonna heat this up. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see if we can get it going. I know we have this one kick pad that we gotta get off of here and it's being a douchebag already. You hate to see it. Uh. All right, there's the one kick pad, and we gotta get the other kick pad. Did this arm get heated up enough, or did it even get heated up at all? It actually might have. All right, so we got that one arm. Let's see if we can get the red on here. God in heaven. All right, got that. Now let's see if we can get the kick pad on there. Ah! All right, we got that. So that's over there. Now we can pop this on here, hopefully. Hopefully this red kick pad will go on here. They're both loosey-goosey, though. That's what sucks eggs. Like the kick pad and the freaking lower leg are both loose, so it's probably not gonna go on there. I may have to wait on it a second. All right, got that one kick pad. Got that kick pad. Now I gotta put these kick pads over here, and they're far away. I hate myself. I got one of them, but again, this one's probably gonna be loosey goosey. Not gonna go on there. Okay, so that one go went on there, but why didn't the other one? That's so stupid, Brad. That's so stupid how that one went on and the other one didn't. Ugh. How about that, ho? All right, that's there. Now we gotta slide this other kick pad on here. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Okay, we got that, but uh, I wasn't done with that figure. I actually needed that. Now let's see if the red kick pad goes on now. Red kick pad. Still not really wanting to go on there, really pissing me off. Okay, let's see if the head sculpt will come off. Head sculpt comes off easy. Now we gotta put the head sculpt up here. Oh my god. We'll look at it at the end, but Jesus, this red kick pad does not want to go on. Damn it all to hell. Dude, this red kick pad can literally go F itself. Oh my god, just, just, God in heaven. Let's eat. Let's see if this arm comes off. That arm comes off, does this arm come off? I'm, I'm freaking mentally just, I'm mentally done. I'm mentally done, okay. There's the one blue, there's the other blue. Okay, so the, the blue version, the blue version has worked out much better it seems just because the kick pads want to get, want it to go on, the head sculpt wasn't being a hoe bag. So the blue version of the AJ Styles is completed. We'll take a look at him at the end. But the red one is just giving me all kinds of shits and shenanigans and it's pissing me the hell off. Oh my god in heaven. Oh my god. Okay. What we're gonna do now, Brad, we're going to now, finally, we're going to heat up these kick pads, and while we're heating up those kick pads, we're gonna heat up these kick pads, and when that's done, we're gonna switch the knee pads onto the Elite 47, pop these kick pads off, put them back on the Elite 47, and while that's happening, I'm gonna heat up this red kick pad, and if that red kick pad does not go onto that other AJ Styles, I'm going to massacre myself. Red kick pad now. Will you go on to this figure? Yes, you will. That's what I thought, Brad. You didn't want me to assault your family. All right, so now all we have to do is pop off these kick pads and the other figure's kick pads. These aren't even popping off. I'm about to pop off on on everyone. Oh my God, dude. I freaking hate kick pads. They never freaking want to pop off. I'm about to just freaking just, oh my God. I am about to just lose it, boy, I tell you. One kick pad and the other kick pad. I apologize not for putting it on video, guys, but I'm about to I'm about to lose my damn mind. Ah, gotta get the freaking knee pad off now and slide that onto the other figure. And I also apologize if this has been a shitty episode as far as putting the stuff on camera. I go ahead and apologize for that because this tripod is giving me so much ifs. Like it's not the same level as my other tripod is, so I'm trying to uh, have. 
you know, have, having to have to like adjust to that. And so I apologize if it hasn't been completely in line, but I'm trying to get a new tripod today probably because I can't handle this shit no more, Brad. There's the one kick pad now. Can we go ahead and just, oh my God, that was the opposite side, you stupid idiot. No, it wasn't. You stupid idiot. Okay, so there's that side. Now this one's just not coming off. Oh my God, that's, ah! All right, now. Get this knee pad off, get out of my face, AJ Styles figure, and then go up here, put the knee pad onto the Elite 47, slide that on, get this over here, and now mercifully slide the one kick pad on, and we are completely finished with all this bullshit, and now we will take a closer look at everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery and take a look at everything and figure out how the hell it came out. All right guys, so taking a closer look at everything we did here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery, starting out with the Matt Hardy. Pretty simplistic design, nothing too crazy. Again, it is very similar to the two-pack WWE Shop exclusive Hardy two-pack Elite Matt Hardy. However, you know, it does have a switched out head sculpt and the, or it's the same head sculpt. It's, it's the pants that are slightly different. They're a darker camo with like a navy-ish and uh, like a navy-ish green and then like a brown color and it, it looks much better, I, I think. I, I don't like that goofy smiling head sculpt that they put on the, the SummerSlam Matt Hardy, so I like this version a lot better. I like the way this head sculpt looks. You know, it's all pissed off and stuff. I thought I had one of those shorter, you know, pushback Matt, Matt Hardy head sculpts, but I unfortunately did not. We also have the Jeff Hardy version, which looks good. It's more of a modern take on Jeff Hardy than the, uh, the you know, the two-pack Jeff Hardy is, but I like the way it came out. You know, it looks pretty good. You know, and now we have another other, you know, non-face painted Jeff Hardy in the different, uh, in the different sleeve colors, and now we have like pretty much Jeff Hardy in every different sleeve color with the, you know, the True Effects, you know, Jeff Hardy head sculpt. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that. Very simple swaps right there, but I am glad to finally have those Hardy Boys complete. Next up, guys, is Seth Rollins, and this Seth Rollins looks badassery. I really am happy and excited for the way he came out. Uh, it just gives me kind of like a small nostalgia pop for 2016 when Seth Rollins. Rollins returned. When he returned at Extreme Rules right there, that was so great. And you know, he had on this attire, he had like the light gray version going on. He attacked Roman Reigns, gave him the pedigree. It was very, very sick. He held up the title to end the show. That was so badass. I thought that was excellent. So this is, uh, this is pretty cool and it kind of replicates that moment right there. So I like the way that Rollins looks. That's pretty nice. And then now we're going to look at the AJ Styles, and obviously the blue version came out better than the red version, and the reason I say this is because of the torso. Now this torso, I forgot that I completely switched out the AJ, AJ Styles torso for the Mizdow torso. Let me know down in the comment section below which side, side you look better. I don't know. It's like this one looks okay, but it kind of looks like the neck may be like... He doesn't have a neck, so you could say, so it kind of just looks a little bit odd or something, but... There you have it. You have the white Elite 56 and blue kick pads there with the white tights and the blue gloves. Really ties in nice. I know you have the red in the belt and the small red designs on it, but I think it, it turned out all right. I think it's a really cool, you know, sort of weird take on an AJ. You also have the Top Talents head sculpt, which really makes it pop off and makes it look better. And then we have the red version over here, which looks good as well. Um, all the red ties in together. I still can't believe we don't have a red AJ Styles, but the armband does tie into the blue over here. Again, it's just the torso that's kind of thrown off, but again, it's not the biggest deal. Uh, it doesn't look too, too terrible, and I could always, you know, switch that out or get a new figure. I don't, I don't know. It's not that hard to do or fix, so there is that. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you like the red version or the blue version better? Hopefully our next AJ will be a red AJ. I'm thinking it's going to be the 2019 SummerSlam one from when he took on uh, Ricochet at SummerSlam. That's what I'm guessing. And then finally guys, we do have the Elite 47 AJ Styles with the Survivor Series kick pads with the knee pad switch switched on there and it's not nothing too crazy. It's just pretty much the black and blue or the black and white have switched places, but Oh my God, that freaking, look at that knee. Look at that right there. Look how loose that is. I'm barely even pushing it. It's already freaking bending. I freaking hate it, but that is going to do it for this. That is going to do it for this episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Episode 41 is complete. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down below what your favorite swap is, which AJ Styles you prefer, the red or blue one. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE Action Figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.